It's taken a lot of teamwork to get down here, but it's been nice that we can all be together and take the journey to Southwest Texas and not only see the beauty, but also support them in something they both care about. <laughs> well, I'm Ian's mom, and flying here on a small jet was fearful enough. <laughs> but then I came on Wednesday because it was Ian's birthday, and I felt I should be here, and as a mom, I felt I should be here because if anything went wrong, you need mom here. Yeah. Were you nervous during the race? I was, ner I was nervous, but then I felt better when I saw the roads here. So, but as a mom, we always worry. And I added a few more gray hairs, but he made it through, and he always does a great job. So, I'm Ian's living girlfriend for seven years. <laughs> uh, I'm Mackenzie Bart. I'm Ian's girlfriend. So I've been able to see him go through the process of getting this car ready. I remember when he took this car out, and we went with Theta, our dog and did a lot of the kind of open road drives that they do, uh, the big one in, in the Midwest. So I got to see this car from where it really started when it had no AC and we're still kind of fixing it along on every bumpy road to now to kind of be ready to be a race car. So it's been cool to see the transformation. I think the race built up so much uh, tension and nervousness that it's nice now that we can all take a breath and relax and enjoy West Texas and everything that it has to offer. And make more memories. Yeah. This is for ships, to big ships, small ships, yellow ships, the Nina, the Pita, the Santa Maria, to battleships, to ships in the water, ships in the land. Oh, oh my God! All right, all right. But the most important thing is friendship. Yeah. Cheers. yeah. say that I was driving fist tight, hands tight, but then now and then I could let go of the wheel and the car was like on rails, but Ian's driving a, a taller, heavier car, so uh, I won't tell him this, but I thought uh, he did the better driving because we were going through curves where I could see his car almost leaning and my car was just flat as a pancake. On the first round, I went after it. And anyway, I don't know if it was the right thing to do, but I wanted to see the turns ahead so I would get within a few hundred yards of Ian and stay on him. And I would see his turn, I would follow his turn, so it was much easier for me, I think. It was amazing, you know, me and him been talking shit for a long time about cars. And to be honest, I think the, the win was more luck than anything else. Because you're talking about 
hundreds or thousands of a second. But it was a father-son thing that uh, I'll have forever. Uh, you might be wearing me out a little bit, brother, but um, I love you still. And uh, I'll do the next one if you want me to. 0 0.004 seconds. Ah. To say the least, that burned a little bit. But what are you gonna do? It's racing. Um, it was a unique race. You know, we were aiming for a particular time and speed, and we were close. We were we were very close, and with a car that was less than six months ago and a bunch of pieces, um, and against a 2001 Ferrari, um, a 60-year-old car competing, I was pretty stoked. It's um, it's a memory that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. This this past few months, being a part of the Battle of Big Bend with my dad and and uh, all the friends that I got to do it with, not only the ones that came out, uh, drove Harleys across the country, flew from around the world, but the, the industry friends. I think that was one thing that really kind of inspired me more the type of people that make up the the racing community and the automotive aftermarket. So, just the just the stories that this thing's already been been able to, to give me is is so cool. Um, uh, I did lose, but Rocky lost to Apollo in the first movie. So, there will be a Rocky two of some sort, maybe with some forced deduction. Um, you know, I'm still licking my wounds a little bit. But uh, I'm back at the farm, about to roll it in the barn and, and start going through it again. Um, thank you for everybody that made it possible. All the people that came out to watch. Uh, it's, it was something special.